All right, today we're going to be reviewing the Ryobi 1900 PSI uh, 1.2 gallons per minute power washer. Uh, I got this because we just moved into this house and the back porch, the, the front porch, the walkway, all of it is horrible. And so uh, I didn't want to, I mean, paying somebody would have been more than what this thing costs. I believe I paid. I got this, I think I got it on sale for like 159 or something like that. Uh, and I also like that you can store it upright and it's compact and, and quite small. So this is the box that it comes in. Uh, these are the instructions. Comes with some, um, like a quick start guide. It's literally uh, four steps to putting the thing together and then three steps to starting the thing. Plug it up. Uh, and then turn it on. So here it is, the unit. To illustrate how small it is, this is my hand, and I don't have a really big hand like that. So that's my foot, and that's the size nine and a half. The unit is really small. Uh, you just need to, con it's really basic. Connect the gun to the power um, hose, power pressure hose. Then you have your um, electric socket. It's a really long cord, so you don't need a, an extension cord. You can use an extension cord, you just need to kind of make sure it's up in the air so it doesn't get wet. And then you have your hose. So I just started and boy, there it is. Now you don't need, it has three different settings. You could use a turbo nozzle, which I'm not using. I'm using this 15 degree nozzle. Uh, and then you do, they have a low pressure nozzle, which is right here. That you store them on the um, pressure washer itself, which, is I, which I also like. Uh, and I'm using this 15 degree one. When you're using the turbo nozzle or the 15 degree, you don't need any soap. You just simply need water. And so, I'm gonna go ahead and illustrate it now for you guys. Here we go. I mean, this thing is so impressive. I can write my name on this thing, or at least a message. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so I've done the entire walkway, as you can see. Um, and I almost was very premature just saying, this thing is great, go get it. Uh, and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, my hand is tingling really bad because there's a vibration uh, and the trigger is very substantial um, at least it feels that way now and there is no way to like have the trigger just held down automatically so you have to hold it down and that gets old real quick so my hand hurts and I mean if you're switching up your hands it doesn't the fatigue doesn't kick in uh, really fast if you switching and rotating hands uh, it'll be okay, but one thing I noticed like with my left hand, I'm right-handed, so my right hand is stronger uh, Oftentimes I wasn't pulling the trigger all the way So you need to pull the trigger tight to get you know the full effect So another thing that had me concerned was about the amount of water you consumption But it's 1.2 gallons per minute. So I mean that's less than uh, running most people's faucet most faucets are like 2.5 so it's not going to use up a whole lot of water uh, but the sidewalk, I mean, it looks amazing. It, it's still wet, but when it dries, it's going to look like brand new concrete. You guys know, like, when concrete gets wet, it turns darker. And, I mean, just look at that. I had to stop. I did that, and I'm like, oh, my gosh. Just, I, I need to make take a picture of this or at least update the video because that right there is definitely picture and video worthy. All right, so it's the next day, and here are the dried results. Now, some of the stuff you see on here is just dirt um, like that's just mud residue that turn into dirt these spots are this actually mold uh, mildew so what I'm gonna have to do is get some bleach and just spray those off and I'll probably just use a little brush well I could probably just spray it and then get the, get the regular hose and just get that off but check that out I haven't tried to do these little statues but I didn't get all I mean it's hard to tell what you don't get because it's all wet and it, you know, it's hard to see what really needs to be cleaned. But you can see the difference there. And uh, this concrete looks like it was just poured yesterday. I still have some debris from 
the leaves and everything, but yeah, it did a fantastic job. And we can see this is what it looked like before and after. And down here, again, like I said, it's still actually kind of dirty. Uh, but this whole thing took me maybe like an hour and maybe a, a little bit of about an hour to do. Uh, and um, my hand was very tired by the end of it. So I'm going to now get into the pros and cons of the power washer. So for pros, uh, one of the things I like that is that it's small and compact. So this is the whole thing. And uh, you can see that there is a, a bottle of cleaner and some, some bug spray in relation to the unit itself. And I have the handle up and the handle can go on down and you can see that's how much room it takes. So I really enjoy that. It'll fit in any vehicle. So if you wanted to just try to like start a side hustle and you want to power wash people's driveways and their stairs and stuff like that, you could definitely do this no matter what. I mean, you could probably just lug this around on the bus if you needed to. So I really like that and it's great on storage. Now, uh, what I mean by that is all of the, everything you need is on this little dolly here. So there's your, uh, the pole, there's your, uh, the gun. Uh, you have your fittings here and you have the pressure hose. Uh oh, you have the pressure hose and well, Okay, hold on. Okay. So you have your pressure, high pressure hose and everything fits on the caddy. So I like that also. Uh, the other thing I like is it is powerful. Again, this wasn't even full blast, okay? I can make it stronger than this, uh, but I didn't do that. And one thing that I did notice also and this is just not has nothing to really do with the unit, but more about power washing because that was my first time doing it. For all of that stuff that's inside of the uh, sidewalk is actually dirt. Look at all the mud it created. Look at that. It's just, I mean, it just created a bigger mess for me to clean up. Uh, but the concrete does look good. Uh, the other thing is cheap. If I would have paid someone to come out and do that, they probably would have charged me about $150. I found my receipt. I paid $179 for this in June, and it's now $149. And one of the cool things about Home Depot is, at least right now during these COVID situations, uh, this power washer, I can return it for 90 days. So I'm going to go ahead and go and do like a, a, a return rebuy. I'm just going to go to the store and buy a new one and then return it with my old receipt so I can get the new uh Price at one forty nine, I'll save thirty dollars. So yeah, so that's one fifty. So pretty much on your first use, you're going to get your money out of it. And the last thing is very easy to use. It's very easy to set up. Only took a few minutes, and you just basically plug it in and pull the trigger, and it's that's it. Plug the hose up to it. Now for the cons, which I don't really have a lot of, it's just two, and that's one is I wish there was some type of auto trigger. And I, this, I don't know what this red thing is for. It looks like this is probably just to lock it and not so much, let's see, and not so much to, and now it's not working at all. Oh, it's because in, in, in um, the slot here, but it's the, if you pull this out, this just keeps the trigger in the, you know, lock position so that you can't squeeze it and i don't i don't know what the point of that is i mean really what we need is something to lock this thing in place so it stays pulled back uh so like even just holding this now my hand is, is feeling fatigued probably from yesterday but uh I, I would not look forward to doing this again uh anytime soon my hand is still tired i need to rest so that is really my biggest gripe with it that the fatigue that you'll feel from your hand is is extreme um, and the last thing is that it might not be suitable for siding that's high up. So if you want to do the side of the house, you know, like we want to get, if you can see above our door, it, there's um, lots of mildew up there. And the side of the house, we don't have any uh, anything on the side of our house. But you see how high that is? I, yeah, I don't think that you could really use that to get the top of the house. So if you wanted to try to, 
if that's what you were thinking about getting it for, unless you have a really tall ladder, um, the core would probably be long enough, but you would still have to suspend that unit on something. The unit doesn't weigh that much, so maybe you could climb up there and have it latched to you somehow, and you know, I don't know. But I wouldn't probably recommend it for that. But other than that, for, for all your small jobs you wanna do, like your fence, your driveway, things that aren't higher than like 15 feet, I think that this would probably be sufficient. And with that said, yeah, that's pretty much it. I would highly recommend it. If you guys have some other recommendations, please let me know and uh, I'll see you guys next time. All right, one more thing I wanted to say about this. So since I've uh, filmed this, that last portion, I have done a lot more than the uh, walkway. Uh, now it's probably been like two months really. But since then I've done the sidewalk here and you can actually see the difference and again i did this over a month ago did the sidewalk this bottom part of the driveway sidewalk going uh all the way down to the end where the white car is that you can actually see the difference between that that part of the sidewalk and that right there. So I've done that. I've also done quite a bit in the back. Let's just walk back there real quick. I did uh, the siding. And I've also washed the car. And I wanna do my report. So this was really terrible. And I'll do some before and after pictures, some during pictures. This is really terrible. So I did all this. I did the stairs. I didn't finish the bottom because I was going to show you guys just how much dirt this thing blows out. Matter of fact, I'll do it now. If you look and you see this dirt, you actually hear me walking. You see that? All that, all of that mud and dirt came off of these stairs and when I was doing it uh, it was starting to smell like the beach and I didn't know the beach was nothing but dirt and mold and water so yeah so anyway I wanted to update my findings I still pretty much feel the same way but I wanted to really kind of comment on the cars and what it's like using on the cars and then just talk about how it's held up doing all that it's held up just fine doing all of that concrete still works exactly the same um my hand didn't fatigue as much it did get tired but not like the first time so i did want to kind of come back and 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 comment on that because it was quite exaggerated when i went back over and looked at the footage as i was about to edit this video so it's not that bad. Your hands will get used to it. You still will need to switch it up every now and then. Um, but it's definitely doable and you can do it every day once your hand builds up that tolerance. Now, I use it to clean none, none of these cars. Those two cars down there. And I actually didn't use soap. So the low flow is almost useless to me. Uh, the low flow is basically like pouring water out of the faucet it's 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 super i mean it's not strong at all it's really just to get soap on the thing and i didn't really play around with the soap concentration the other thing is you cannot use regular car wash soap so i like to use blue coral uh, and i can't put blue coral in the power wash system you need power wash automobile soap and so I, I went and got some and it just wasn't that good so i wouldn't recommend doing that i would just hand wash it and use the power wash to blow the soap off and you can also use the blow debris off now when you do that use the 15 degree nozzle just be careful i didn't have any issues with blowing paint off i read some reviews where a guy did do that i really don't know how he must have been like really close uh, but keep your distance uh, if you if you spray it with like two or three feet um, away it'll just pro promote good coverage um, you can get really close on things like the headlights it'll clean it really well and on the wheels so that's pretty much it it works really good on the cars i couldn't see myself going back to a regular um, 
you know, spray nozzle. I'm going to always use the power wash. And uh, so that's it. That's the last thing I wanted to say. And uh, yeah, hopefully it's helpful. And I'll see you guys next time.